ఓపెనింగ్ పైన ఏమి చూడకపోవాల్సి అసిస్టెంట్ ప్రొఫెసర్ ఆఫ్ కామర్స్ జేఎఫ్టిసి కోర్టుగారి ఇన్ టుడేస్ డిస్కషన్ ఐ డిస్కస్ మోడ్స్ ఆఫ్ ఇంటరాక్షన్ బిజినెస్ ఇన్ దిస్ సెషన్ ఐ డిస్కస్ ఓన్లీ టూ మోడ్స్ దట్ ఈస్ ఫారిన్ డైరెక్ట్ ఇన్వెస్ట్మెంట్ అండ్ మేనేజ్మెంట్ కాంట్రాక్ట్స్ ఫస్ట్ డిస్కస్ ఫారిన్ డైరెక్ట్ ఇన్వెస్ట్మెంట్ ఈజ్ ఎఫ్టిఐ ఫారిన్ డైరెక్ట్ ఇన్వెస్ట్మెంట్ ఈజ్ ఇన్వెస్ట్మెంట్ ఇన్ టు ప్రొడక్షన్ ఇన్ ఏ కంట్రీ బై ఏ కంపెనీ లొకేటెడ్ ఇన్ అనదర్ కంట్రీ దట్ ఈస్ వెరీ ఇంపార్టెంట్ మీనింగ్ ఇన్వెస్ట్మెంట్ ఇన్ ఏ ప్రొడక్షన్ దట్ ఈస్ వెరీ ఇంపార్టెంట్ ఫారిన్ డైరెక్ట్ ఇన్వెస్ట్మెంట్ మీన్స్ ఇన్వెస్ట్మెంట్ ఇన్ ఏ ప్రొడక్షన్ ఇన్ ఏ కంట్రీ దట్ మీన్స్ ఎని వన్ కంట్రీ బై ఏ కంపెనీ లొకేటెడ్ ఇన్ అనదర్ కంట్రీ ఇన్నొందు కంట్రీ ఐదర్ బై buying a company in target country or expanding operations of an existing business in that country andre yav rithi invest martara production adante yavude ondu deshada company berondu deshada company jothege odambadike madkolutte athava aa company purchase madutte athava tanna ondu operations or express expand madadu mukantra aa business ni invest madu this is a very simple meaning fdi is investment into production in a country by a company located in another country either by buying a company in the target country or expanding operations of an existing business in that country this is the meaning therefore fdi is done for many reasons means why fdi fdi is needed because of to take the advantage of cheaper wages means some in some countries the labor is available cheaper that's why cheaper wages and special investment privileges some country government given some special privileges to investment in industries such as tax exemptions and also subsidies and also incentives and others and the tariff and tariff free access the markets and etc that's why the so many reasons the country means the any one company switch on to fdi in different countries and different companies because of to getting the benefits of investment privileges cheaper wages privileges and tax exemptions and subsidies and etc therefore what are the determinants which are related to fdi means determinants with factors there are so many factors are there first one size of the market before going to invest in any one market any one production the company must see the what is the size of the market that means where the consumers demands are are there elli consumers demands is there because of for certain goods only uh, demand is there but some certain goods there is no demand in that market that's why first start to what is the demand for the certain good if it is goods demand is there if demand is there what is the supply supply is available therefore before going to investment first look up the size of the market second one political stability me any one company what you got go to fti that company must understand the political stability of that country government because of if political unstable automatically the companies are not ready to invest the money for what you called environment and political issues and other etc then another one point macro economic environment means before going to investment the companies must know about what is the instability in the level of prices and exchange rate exchange rate foreign exchange rate sambandha pattante any changes are there and in price level price level changes any changes are there sambandha pattante uncertainty idre uncertainty idre aga companies does not ready to invest in production and market that's why what you called this is adversely affect the inflow of fdi that's why the companies make a planning if what is the price what is the exchange rate if if that is uncertainty planning is difficult planning is difficult next one legal and regulatory regulatory framework that very important before going to investment in any one company any one country the companies must see what is the legal rules and what is the regulations which are uh, in that country regarding for investment in production and marketing that is very important point so and another one point access to basic inputs means what are the inputs are available for production and market that should be analyzed by the any one country before going to fdi because of many developing countries have large reserves 
of skilled and uh, semi skilled workers that are available for employment at wages significantly lower than the developed countries. That's why this provides opportunities for foreign firms to make investment in these countries to cater the export market. This is therefore availability of natural resources such as oil, gas, minerals, forestry products, water, electricity, and etc. also determine to extent of foreign direct investment. These are the determinants of foreign direct investment. Let's turn to advantages or benefits. Advantages to investor or business and advantages to host countries. There are two types are there. One is the advantage to investor. For investor, there is a one advantage market diversification. Very important. He get what do you call uh, uh, reduce the risk of loss through diversification. Means tanna invest tanna mundu investment na different production sali invest pura mukantra diversify mandu. There is market diversification. And second one tax incentives. The investor means home country get a tax incentives from other countries like in what do you call subsidies and that else. And next one, lower labor, sorry, lower labor cost, very important because of FDI is conducted where the, uh, what you call, labor wages are very low. That's why here, another one, advantage to home country or investor, that is lower labor cost. And another one, preferential tariffs and subsidies, very important. Any one country company invest in any other country at the time it should see that what is the tariffs what is the subsidies are available that is also it is available some tariffs and quotas are available and some subsidies are available from the, that government this is the advantage to what you called investor or business or home country and the advantage to host country what is the advantage for host country means the very country particularly the capital inflow very important advantage most countries ke foreign countries ke capital inflow hote means alle production ki invest martivi strengthen the infrastructure infrastructure strengthen martivi and automatically increase the productivity very important first advantage increase in the productivity second one fdi act as a medium to acquire advanced technology very important technology transformation hote that is advantage to host country means advanced and newly technical and the development of human capital another point increase the employment opportunities in most countries very important again the yearly now invest party with the yearly labor available only this party are the employment opportunity out of the shake host country create out the job opportunities create out the and another one point very important revenue to the government very important yearly investigate but only very important now revenue generate out the government ke and economic stimulation and economic growth out there. FDA encourage export from host country. Another one very important benefit. It encourages the export from home country and sorry host country to home country. Host country the home country exports some some the exports from the sun some gains rise out there. This is the advantage to host countries. So here the advantage are not even. What is the disadvantage? Very important disadvantage. Profits in domestic industries fail, leading to fall in domestic savings. Very important. Domestic savings decline out there because again the domestic industries only invest more the and the domestic industries fail out the way, savings decline out there. And putting pressure for foreign exchanges also very important. Foreign exchanges also like this pressure create out there and it is not possible to gain. And corporate taxes comparatively less because the liberal tax concession. Ekendre, Yavu government industry Bandaga, the concession for the subsidies for the corporate tax, Kadame Alte, and another one, foreign firms reinforce dualistic socioeconomic structure and increase income inequalities. Very important. Income, income inequalities is one of the demerit of the Rabuda. And foreign firms stimulate inappropriate consumption patterns through excessive advertising and monopolistic market power. Very important demerit is monopolistic. Monopolistic are automatically advertising excessive out there, automatically it is the expenditure of the data out there. These are the demerits of for FDI. Therefore, FDI meaning determinants, advantages, and disadvantages. Not even. Next, other one more management contracts. What is management contract? It is an agreement between two companies 
whereby one company provides managerial assistance, technical expertise, specialized services to the second company for certain agreed period in return for monetary compensation. This is the meaning. Andre Yavadam Yaradu component of the agreement of the other Prakar one the company in the company the agreement for the third two now manager assistance and technical experts and specialized services in the private martini in a game other some of the end up to any work of certain period means one year two years five years for that return in a return for monetary compensation other some of the put up there other fees and not provide for the other consideration for the other one of compensation this is the meaning it is an agreement between two companies Wherever one company provides managerial assistance, technical expertise, specialized services to the second company for a certain agreed period in return for monetary compensation. This is the meaning of management contract. Therefore, it is an arrangement under which operational control of an expertise is vested by contract in a separate enterprise that performs the necessary management functions in return for fee. Therefore, a management contract is one of the agreements between the two companies selected above can involve wide range of functions functions like technical operations and production facility, management of personnel, accounting, marketing services and training. These are some of the functions related to management contract. Therefore, in Asia, many hotels operate under management contract. In Asia continent, actually many hotels are operated under the, this mode like management contract arrangements as they can more easily obtain economies of scale and global reservation system and brand recognition. Other some of the benefits in upon the brand recognition out there, global reservation system some of the out there, and also easily economies of scale open out there. What are the popular types of management contract? Very important are the hotel management contract and construct, construction management contract. You know, so now, very important and popular regarding management contract model. What is the advantages? Foreign company earns additional income without any additional investment or risk on application. Very important. Because one the company, another company, then on the expertise and the technical assistance, the other one, you know, the company additional income or the income without any investment, you have the investment money, you have the risk, you have the applications, you have the additional income, you have the capital. Additional income allows the company to enhance its image. Very important. That additional income it increases the image of the company and also increases the image of investors and mobilizes the funds. Funds increase out there, capital expansion out there. And third one, it helps the companies to enter the business areas in the host countries. Very important. Host country only company that a business and enter one of the And another one advantage, it can help distribute responsibility better. Very important. Then the responsibility is easier to voice for And another point. Organizations receive expertise and experience and technical uh, technology easily. Very important advantage. And also, it can also provide continuity to an organization. Very important continuity in your account. These are the advantages of uh, management contract. What are the disadvantages? The companies allow the com what you call companies in the host country even to use their trademarks and brand name. So, the host country's companies find the brand name very important. Host country, home country, trade name, and trademarks, and brand name, and use model. So, the brand name, and brand recognition, and smile, and chance. Therefore, if they do not keep up the quality of product service, automatically, brand name is spoiled. Host country, and one of the home country, brand name is spoiled. And another one, host country companies make to leak the secrets of technology. Very important. Home country technology na secrets na leak mora chance the other host country so and the agreement transfers the operational control of your business to management company that is very important your operational control means home country to operational control transfer out there automatically it is affect to the what you call company company effect out there so this is the design phase of the management contract. Therefore, in this session, I discuss two modes. One is FTI, another one is management contract. Thank you.